Hello my friends and welcome to a new type of video where I'm going to try to create something from scratch and I'm only going to give myself an hour to do it. This is like the opposite of everything I've ever created because I always take forever to make stuff and I'm a perfectionist and OCD and all that so this is just kind of an exercise for me I just want to see how it goes. Um, so yeah let's get started. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start from scratch and try to do as much as I can in an hour. Hopefully it'll turn out cool but it might be um, disgusting. We'll see. So, um, let's see, where do I start? I'm gonna create a, a drum track. Okay, this is Addictive Drums 2. And, let's see, set a tempo. Let's just go with a default tempo for now. Try to record a little pattern. Maybe, see how that goes. That's just a kick and snare. So I did want to show my computer screen as well, but my computer's pretty old and it couldn't handle recording the screen as well as recording my instruments. Let's add some... at. I think those were half, right? Yeah. All right. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay. So, I'm just going to lube that for now and try to record something on it. So I'm looping that a bunch of times. And we're gonna try to do something maybe with the profit. Okay, let's see. It's a weird loop, man. <laughs> but I'm not gonna edit it right now. We'll see maybe later. All right, got a piano sample going here. Just something like that. little improvisation. So that'll be the loop. Okay, let's add some synth to that. Maybe a Moog? Smoke Matriarch has some really cool delay effect as well. So I'll use a little of that. Ooh, kind of trippy. I forgot what chord progression I did at the end there, so I'm just going to change the end. Something like that. <laughs> I know. It is weird. But I'm a weird person. Sounds kind of JRPG-ish, doesn't it? I think I've been playing a lot of JRPGs recently since that kind of style of music is just 
stuck in my head, I suppose. So let's try to add some structure to this instead of just like having everything together. Let's start with just the piano first time and then the Moog second time. Okay, how about some bass sort of sound? Let's create a new patch. I always start from like a, a new patch when I'm working, which makes everything take longer, but I just, I don't like uh, presets. I like just, you know, starting from scratch every time and just like seeing where the sound, sonic explorations take me. New patch. Just a few more things right here. All right, I'm going to try something like this. You guys can hear it when I'm actually recording it and probably like judge whether it's good or not but it's hard for me to judge as I'm playing like what I'm recording I have to listen back <laughs> gonna darken the bass sound a bit it's a little too bright I'm gonna add an effect that I really like called decapitator it sounds kind of scary um, and the results are kind of scary as well So that's like, what, that was like 15 minutes of work. Um, let's see. So everything is dry right now. The piano is completely dry. Maybe I'll add a little bit of reverb to it. It is only three o'clock in the afternoon and it's already getting dark here. It's like, just what the hell, you know? I hate it. I hate that it gets dark so early. It's kind of depressing, to be honest. And it's not very good for shooting videos e either. Sorry, I'll try to be a little more positive. Okay, add a little bit of reverb. I'm gonna add a few more sounds to that, and then maybe we'll try another section. So, you know, instead of just having like one loop, I wanna actually create something that's more like an, a song, you know, so it'll have multiple parts. We'll, we'll try at least with the time we have. So, um, let us try a different sounds. I'm gonna start from scratch once again. I like reversing various percussion sounds and getting these weird kind of creepy effects. I wonder how that would sound, that kind of reversed bell sound. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm going to record. gonna keep going I'm just gonna loop that add a bunch of reverb to that as well and let's hear what that sound like maybe pan it a bit yeah I kind of like 
I get. They add like a random pan to it, like an auto pan. Okay, let's call that section one of the song and now add like something different, you know, like a, maybe something a little darker. It's kind of too happy, a little too happy, I think. I want to cry, you know, I don't want to be happy. Who wants to be happy? So, um, let us see what we can do. Maybe like a Rhodes? Kind of want something like that, you know, something like a little, little darker with the chord changes. I'm gonna add a little bit of kind of pitch wobble because I love that kind of stuff. But slower. And a little less of it. some drum. Let's add some other dreamy stuff. I love this instrument right here, the Theravox. So, um, hello. I'm gonna use that a bit. Maybe using one of the pedals that I have right here. I don't like that. Very dreamy. This reverb tail is gonna take like half an hour now. We don't have time. Kind of like that, you know. Once again, like if I if I wasn't like tr challenging myself to create as quickly as possible, I would take a lot more time over every detail. But this is like a good way for me to um, kind of deal with my own perfectionism. And I hope you're enjoying the video as well. Um, what I hope to do is make this like a weekly thing and 
maybe you guys can give me some ideas for challenges, uh, things you'd like to see me create in an hour or, you know, just a short uh, period of time. Um, it could even be like a cover that I try to create really quickly or, you know, songs in a certain style or something. Um, you know, why don't you uh, give me some ideas? Just uh, head over to the comment section. Let me know what you think and if you want to see more of these. Okay, let's keep going. So we're around, uh, we're around close to 40 minutes in. So what I want to do is kind of wrap this up with uh, another section for the end, uh, or maybe like a third section that'll um, transition back to the first section and then end with that. Let's see how that goes. So I ended, uh, for you music theory people out there, I ended. So the whole the song started in E flat major, but I ended in G major that second part. So now I have to figure out how to get back to E flat major in a kind of you know nice and smooth way. So let's see what can I do there. Something like that, you know. I'm gonna actually copy now the first drum loop. I don't think that works. So, um, no, those drums will only come in after that. short hi-hat, that's what I was looking for. Where's the crash on this? That's a crash, okay. It's kinda lame, but Then I am going to copy the whole first section with the melody and see if that kind of works. Now, we have a little more time, I believe. Yeah, we got like 15 minutes. So um, I am gonna try to add something else to the whole last uh, section, like the, it's the beginning part, but I wanted to have an additional something. Maybe um, more of this just kind of simple synth sawtooth wave.
changed my mind. I want something a little different. Something kind of more rhythmic. Forget about it. I don't like it. Um, let's try something else. Let's go back to... kind of dreamier. Got a little weird at one point when I added too much uh, vibrato. <laughs> like that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our time is up. I've been working on this for an hour now, so let's just give it one listen, and we're just going to keep it as is for now. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section. Maybe type something as you're listening. I guess that's sort of like a JRPG kind of theme, right? Could it work in the next Final Fantasy game? Probably not. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.